This guide shows you how to format a USB stick to the NTFS file system, which will allow you to store files on it larger than four gigabytes. Now the NTFS file system is supported by all current Windows systems, but may not be supported by other devices. So please contact the manufacturer of your device before formatting your stick to NTFS, just to make sure that their device supports the NTFS file system. As I say, all Windows systems that are currently available support NTFS. So if you're only using it on a computer, then you should be fine in doing this. So grab your USB stick. Don't plug it in just yet. Go to the desktop on your computer and click on this little yellow folder at the bottom of your screen. If you haven't got a yellow folder there, click on the start button and then click on the documents icon just here on the start menu. Then move your mouse over this PC, left click once, and have a look at devices and drives in here. If you've got an arrow pointing to the right, just before devices and drives, click on the arrow pointing to the right and it'll point downwards and it will show you the devices and the drives on your PC. So now's the time to plug your USB stick in. So let's just plug that into the side of my laptop right now. And as uh, we plug it in, just keep an eye on the screen and see what appears. So as you can see, the E drive has appeared. So that's our USB stick. Now, just to let you know, formatting the drive will completely wipe everything off of it. So if you've got stuff on there that is important to you, make sure that you back it up now. Now, a quick way of backing it up is just to create a folder on the desktop. Let's just do that. So just right click, this menu appears, and then go to down to new, and then across to folder. And uh, let's just call that USB stick backup. So there we go. And then I just double click on my USB stick there, which is the E drive on my machine. It'll be different on yours. And what we're gonna do is we wanna select all of the files on the USB stick. Now you can click select all there, or you can hold down the CTRL key, which is the key on the bottom left-hand corner of your keyboard, and then just tap the letter A and then let go of the CTRL key. And then you just drag these files across into the USB stick backup folder. Now do that by left clicking and holding the left mouse button down and then just drag it until you can see there it says copy to USB stick backup then let go. Okay so it's now copying those files across and making a backup copy of them. That bit might take a bit of time on your stick if you've got a lot of stuff stored on there. So let's just click the back button just here and then we move our mouse over our USB stick, which in my case is the E drive, and then click the right mouse button, okay? And then we should have this menu appear. Move your mouse up to format and click the left mouse button. And as you can see here, we've got their file system is FAT32. Now I wanna change that to NTFS. So I click that little drop down there and I click NTFS. Another option you've got on here is you could change it to XFAT, which also I believe will allow you to uh, store files larger than four gigabytes. So you do have that option and you might find that more devices actually support XFAT, but in this video, I'm gonna uh, select NTFS. So we've got an option here to start, but first of all, we just wanna double check and just make sure that this is the USB stick. If you're not sure, then at this point, click close because you could end up completely wiping the wrong drive. So I'm 100% sure this is my E drive. If you're not sure, then get somebody who's a bit more competent with computers to uh, double check this for you before you do this. You could also kind of match up the capacity. I mean, this is a 32 gigabyte stick and the capacity on here is showing 28.8 gigabytes. You always lose just a little bit of the uh, capacity when formatting uh, 
in, in, a, in, in a certain format because of certain uh, features of the uh, file system that you're, you're, you're going to be formatting to. I'm 100% sure this is the right stick, so don't blame me if you lose everything off of a drive. As I say, double check. If you're not sure, triple check. And if you're still not sure, get somebody who's a bit more competent with computers to uh, double check it for you. I'm going to leave quick format ticks there, move the mouse over start and left click once and there you go. So it gives us a warning now. So warning, formatting will erase all data on this disk. To format the disk, click OK. If you're not sure to quit, click cancel. So this is your last chance before you could lose everything. So as I say, make sure you've got everything backed up on the stick because it's going to wipe it. Um, and make sure that you've selected the right drive because otherwise it might end up wiping the wrong drive. As I say, I will take no responsibility for this if you end up wiping the wrong drive or you haven't backed up your files and you lose it. So I'm okay, I'm confident I've done the right thing here. So I'm gonna move my mouse over okay and left click once. And now it starts formatting in NTFS. Now it might look as though it's not doing anything for a while, don't panic. Just leave it, just let it do what it's got to do. And there you go, mine has now said format complete. So I move my mouse over OK, left click once, then move my mouse over close, and again, left click once. Now, I want to put the files back that I backed up earlier. So let's just double click on this USB stick back up here that I created. OK, and I'm just going to move this window slightly to one side. All I did there was I just moved uh, my mouse over the words USB stick back up just up the top there and held the left mouse button down and just moved it across just so I can see my USB stick there. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the CTRL key. The CTRL key is the key in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard. Keep that held down and then let tap the letter A, A for alpha, then let go of the CTRL key. And then I move my mouse over one of the files, hold down the left mouse button and just drag it over my USB drive just down there and let go. And as you can see, the files are now copying back to the USB stick. And if I double click on the USB stick there, there we go. We should see my files are back. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to close down this window for the USB storage and I'm going to close down the USB stick backup window there by clicking on the cross. And now I've restored the files, I can delete that folder. So I just right click on the folder there. OK, this menu appears and then go down and left click on delete. And then it says, are you sure you want to move this folder to the recycle bin? Yeah, well, I'll finish with it now. So I'll move the mouse over, yes, and left click once. So there you go. That guide showed you how to back up your files that are on your USB stick, then format it to the NTFS file system so that you can save files larger than four gigabytes. I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.